Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Coffee and Cards with Michelle. My name's Michelle Zanovich, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Every weekday morning at 8 and Saturdays at 9, I craft with you live to start our day with a little crafting and creativity. Today is Tuesday, July 7th, I think. Wow, crazy. How is it already July 7th? I have no idea. Anyways, it's Casing Tuesday. And if you don't know what that means, I'm part of the Casing Tuesday Facebook group. You can find us over on Facebook at Casing Tuesday. And we, every Tuesday morning, we take a card straight from the catalog and case it. Casing means copy and share everything. So we put our own creative spin on cards that we have found to emulate out of the annual catalog. Today's card can be found over on my blog at www.makingmemorieswithmichelle.com. I changed it up a little bit. The card that is on the sketch today was a 4x4 four four card. Now, I'm not a big sender of 4x4 four four cards. They have their time and place, but I wanted to make a card today that I could pop in an envelope and send. So I made a regular size card, but I used the same sketch design. We have a center circle. We have something, um, a figure over here on the right, and then a stamped banner, which is exactly what the sketch was today. I'm also using the Boho Indigo product suite, which is what we are featuring all week long. I love it when I can combine the products that I'm using for my live videos into my Casing Tuesday projects. So let's get started. We're gonna start today with a piece of very vanilla thick cardstock, which is cut into four and a quarter by 11, and it's scored at five and a half. Again, all measurements can be found over on my blog later this morning. I'm staying true to the Boho Indigo Designer Series paper. And I showed you these yesterday, but I just have to show you again. Look, <laughs> I cut some vases out of this one this morning. All right, this is lovely paper in very vanilla, Night of Navy and Misty Moonlight. So it gives us a very, very um, bohemian feel. And I told you yesterday that it's very reminiscent of my trip to the Greek Isles on the Stampin' Up! Incentive Cruise. And don't you know, just 10 minutes ago, my friend Sarah Weston, whom I took to Greece with me on the incentive trip, just texted and said, a year ago today, we were boarding the ship in Rome to go to Greece. And it's it's just, oh my goodness. So pop over to my blog this week. I'll be sharing some pictures um, from our Greek incentive trip last year. Um, sharing some pictures and, you know, sharing some memories because it's all about making memories. You don't have to be with Michelle to make memories. You can do it any other way. Although making memories with Michelle is a lot of fun. Okay, just ask Sarah. We had a great time. Oh my goodness. And right as I popped onto Facebook too, I saw that my, uh, you know how Facebook says, a year ago today you were, and there's a picture of me in our stateroom cabin. Oh, it was lovely, lovely balcony. Okay, so I've got, slow down. I have a layer of Night of Navy, and then I have a layer of Very Vanilla, and I embossed it with the Dainty Diamonds 3D embossing folder. This is a great embossing folder. Um, I don't like really busy embossing folders, and so even though this has plenty of pattern, can you see? I've got a glare this morning, I'm sorry. Um, it's very subtle, actually, especially for a 3D. So I really like this. And it's all about pattern play today because next we have a large scalloped circle from the layering circles dies. And then, remember yesterday I said we also have embossing, um, very vanilla embossed layers in that boho indigo? This is one of the embossed pieces. 
and I cut out a circle and that's going to go right here. So don't be afraid to cut up this paper, okay? The, I don't know what that is. Um, whether it's the, the designer series paper or it's the embossed layers, go ahead, cut it up. You're going to enjoy it. Okay, I'm going to put this off center. It's not in the center and it's not down here in the center. It's kind of down and to the right. Okay, and I'm going to pop that up with some dimensionals. We have a lot of texture going on in this card. We have a lot of layers going on in this card. And it's, it's really a simple design and quite nice. Okay, so I have circles and diamonds. I know kind of going outside my comfort zone here, mixing patterns. Um, but you know what? We're Bohemian. There we go. Oh, my son is texting me. I wonder what he just sent me. I'll look at that in a minute. It makes me nervous. Okay. Here's one of the palm fronds that come out of here. I'll show you. I stuck all these back, these little pieces. I love this little bag that came in, right? Sometimes it's the little things that make us happy. So um, this is the little bag that everything came in for my boho indigo suite. And so now I have all these little pieces. I'm like, what am I going to do? I don't want to lose them. Well, I stuck them back in the bag. All right. So, you know, we have these labels and I love these, love these, love these. I'm making a mess. Okay. Um, and then we have this whole sheet of, they're not stickers, they're just die cuts. Okay. In gold and garden green. So those, let's sit over there. So the vase that I chose is tall and skinny. And so at first I picked a smaller, um, narrower leaf and it didn't look right. So I've decided we needed something wider at the top to offset this skinny, skinny leaf or skinny vase. I'm going to add some dimensionals to the back of my vase. And I'm going to put one on the back of this palm frond. And I want this to stick up a little bit. Here we go. I'll put this over here again, slightly off center. Okay. I love it. I think I love pattern vases. Very, we're going to call it Ming Dynasty. It's probably not, but we'll make it up. Okay. Next, I have this stamp set. And it's such happy news. We could all use some happy news these days. There's too much negativity out there. I try not to dwell on it. Sarah and I were just talking about that this morning, about focusing on what we have, not what we have not, focusing on what we can do, not what we can't. Because that's a rabbit hole I don't want to go down. Okay? Such happy news. And in order to get that stamped straight, you saw what I did, right? I put it on this, um, the crosshairs of my grid paper, and I lined it up. And then I can see through the photopolymer, okay? So I'm going to put some dimensionals just on the left-hand side, right? Because if I look at my card, I've got my vase popped up. I want that to rest there. So on the left-hand side of my banner, I'm going to put dimensionals only here. Otherwise, it's wonky and a little bit lopsided. Okay. Next, I'm going to finish off with some holiday rhinestone basic jewels. If I can find my take your pick tool. 
was right here just a minute ago. There it is. And I'm going to take some of these blue ones and I'm going to follow the circle around. I just wanted to add a little highlight, I think, to my circle. And then I'm going to come around on this side. And remember, rule of three is generally what I use, you know, three embellishments. But you can also use five or seven. Just make sure they're odd numbers most of the time because that's what our eye is attracted to. So this one, I cut off the stem and it was a little bit short. I like this one a little bit better. But different leaves, a little bit different look, same pattern. Thanks for joining me. Be sure to pop over to my blog, okay, at www.makingmemorieswithmichelle.com. Check out what the sketch was today that I cased from the catalog, and then pop over to the Facebook group. Make a card yourself. Pop over to the Casing Tuesday Facebook group. I'll provide a link in my blog and show us your card. I will be with you tomorrow morning at eight o'clock. Until then, have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.